Kiki, I'm like a designer and sound artist based in London. And tonight I have the really amazing opportunity to uh, Mr. Jeff Mills. You found a completely new usage for like making like revolutionary techno music and uh, kind of you discovered in the way like how like the moment happened. Yeah, well, well, I think I think um, some factors that have uh, nothing to do with music mm. played a role in how the music was evolving. This was the 80s approaching the year 2000 and this idea of preparing yourself yeah. for what's going to happen as we get closer to this to this date. There was a lot of enthusiasm about innovation and machines and technology and, and even the sound of music. The 80s was a big mix of different genres and everything so the idea to to sit down with a machine and try to create something different was pretty much you know what the norm was at the time okay. you know taking things from hip-hop, taking things from new wave, mm -hmm. taking things from industrial dance and soul and, and, and jazz and, and kind of mixing it to come up with something new. How do you think like living with technology affect like our relationship to with music? Overall, I, I think the general feeling is that technology is good for us. We have a general understanding that it will help our lives, it, it'll make us better. I, I anticipate that uh, we will begin to mold ourselves in the form of machines and the way that they are trying to imitate us, I suppose. They, they'll, they'll, there'll be some medium in, in between. And I think, I think musically, the way that we listen to it, the way that we make it, eventually will become integrated into the machine itself. Rather than pressing the keys, maybe you just simply put your hand on something mm -hmm. and the technology reads how you're feeling to interpret yeah. certain chords or mm -hmm. chord structure or certain notes. How do you think that like, electric music like develop further in the future? We, we we may find ourselves at a point where some genres might mix together mm. and kind of roll themselves yeah. into one mm. main genre of mm. music. And that the definition of what music is may change. The line between education and music will become more narrow, mm. meaning that the experience might become entertainment itself. Mm. Being on the surface of Mars mm. becomes entertainment and listening to the winds of yep. that becomes similar to music. Experiencing times of the past mm. or of the future will become our main form of entertainment. Mm. I can experience when Miles Davis was making Bitches Brew in, in that context. Not just listening to the music but watching how it was mm. all coming together, Come to, what the musicians yeah. were doing. And I think electronic music is perfect for that because we really haven't decided what it is and what it is. Kind of your activist border rest in the way, like you two like going to art field and everything. And do you think it's more and more like a diversity going to be changed, like your practice in the future? I think it's representative of the times mm. that we're in and how things are, are moving forward. Yeah. I mean, if, if in the 70s, if, if someone told me that I would, I would, I would work with an orchestra, yeah. And then I would learn what I'm gonna do with the orchestra to go back into electronic music mm. and contemporary dance and take that experience to, I, I would say, you know, uh, it would be impossible to do that. Mm. Um, but, but I think that because the, of the way that we now communicate and how open we're able to be in terms of um, culture uh, and arts and things, you know, I, I don't feel restricted. So that has kind of snowballed into part of my career, you know, yeah, yeah. is to explore. And so I, I do that uh, without apologizing and without <laughs> conditions, and I'll try just about anything.